right, y'all. Welcome back to another one today. We got the Goat Brook, Mr. Russell Westbrook. My favorite player. The person other other besides LeBron James is Russell Westbrook. I probably was a LeBron James fan, but then I start to feel more to Russell. But LeBron is still my goat. Russell, that's my guy. I've been going with him ever since OKC and all that. It's the young days of him and everything. But now we're about to react to the NBA's players explaining why you can't compare Russell Westbrook to anyone. And you got people talking about him, Kobe LeBron, Curry Durant, etc. Before we get into the video, make sure you have to know and subscribe. Let's go ahead and check this out. Russell Westbrook is one of the best point guards to ever play the game. A freak of nature and ferocious boy, Russell, we gotta get that ring. Winning over everything. People don't really realize. He is realize how much. People don't realize how much he really was doing. He was in OKC. They ain't seeing what he's doing with the Clippers. Let's take a look and listen to what he did, bro. We're sleeping on him. The haters, the haters, still great. A ton. I mean, I didn't smile much on the court either. Kobe Bean, who loved Russell. You know, so, but he plays the game with such an energy and such an aggressiveness. And all. I don't, you know, it's uh, I think that needs to be appreciated. It needs to be appreciated. I mean, he's not out there trying to be cute with the basketball. He's not out there trying to make friends. I mean, this guy's playing hard every time down. And it takes a lot of energy to be able to do that. I don't know another player like Russell. Still to this day. It was a stretch where Russell Westbrook was the greatest player on the Still to this day. I used to do, even though he's playing on what you say, less minutes, but I can say it's actually a good thing. Now his legs would be even better. Probably coming for now to playoffs. Then you probably seeing him just doing it that whole season for the years, and doing triple doubles and stuff. He's gonna have the energy now even more to be ready for playoffs and stuff. Instead of him doing like that, and then the player might be a little more drained and stuff like you know, they always be saying him harden because they be doing all so much. It might be trying to play playoffs. So what he was doing on the offensive end of the floor, scoring forty, being able to get twenty assists, but also what he was doing. But he's still in shape too. That's why. Like you feared him on the defensive end of the floor. I mean, Russell, we don't even know how to attack the ball. He greens, he sleeves. He was attacking it well defense, and it was like, oh. One thing about Russell, we all hey. know, no matter what people say about him or what how he's playing, he he competes. Um, I know they they love that about him. Because every night he shows up and plays hard. So Russell always going to give you that energy that teach. gets the crowd hype. That's what you like. That's what you love, man. I think that Russ has been one of the most mentally strong players we've ever seen. Because if you look at his resume, it, it, it's first about Hall of Fame. But he's taken criticism the entire time. And he's always had a way of just, you know, saying, forget the noise. I'm going to go out here and play. Russell Westbrook's career and legacy is undeniable. Dang. Like, that's just the bottom line. The player, the career he's had, what he's accomplished, the things that he's done, nobody else has been able to do it. Like, with all these triple doubles, I don't care if you stat chasing or whatever people want to say. If I try to go every game and get a triple double for a whole season, I can't do it. That's a lot of work. <laughs> and there's a lot of other people that can't do it either. Like, that's man, tough. Was, and I've never seen somebody jump AD. that high or run that fast or be that explosive ever yeah. or yeah. anything in my life. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And to see that up close man, every night and again. know that he has a physical advantage over every Should point. Kept hard for that. Against. I had the utmost you confidence what that could be in every game. And like, or you still even with just kept running the Russell. I know it. Y'all don't know it. They still was with 3 1. I'm like, y'all can't win with somebody. But they were about, they went to the finals already. Somebody can't win with somebody, but they went there. So obviously they can't. They went there, and them. They were about to beat the 73 and 19. They could have, it should have been a German sweep. What's a German sweep? It should have been, been 4 1. That's what it should have been. And it would have been, it would have been Kevin Durant, Russell, and it went against Le LeBron James and Kyrie. It would have been that. So then Kevin Durant beat LeBron, they would have met again after he was just with the Heat. They met. So it would have been the same thing. They would have still, if it would have stayed, they still would have been fine, bro. You know the shoot yeah, you can win. Hard. You seen that they were still struggling. You seen what it was looking like with KD. If KD won the team, it was going to be a little more rougher for him. So I don't know what they would, who would have been able to pick up. You can wonder at that too. If KD just stayed, who would maybe they could have went after? I don't want to hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
down to the point where it's like, yo, chill. Chill for a second, big homie. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you like that aggression. I've never, I never seen a player. I didn't even know what KD, he didn't even know what Thunder maybe could do. If he would have stayed, maybe he could have made another move. And got somebody yeah, add with him. Kevin Durant and Russell. Effort every There's just so much with like bro. Even Jordan didn't play as hard as Russell Westbrook does. And Michael's the greatest of all time. But this guy gives maximum effort every single play, every single night. And you got to respect that. I've never seen uh, a guy like Westbrook. Let's, wow. let's put that out front. <laughs> okay, you know, in terms okay. of just energy and stamina and coming at you, uh -huh. right? I love Russ. I know you From do. day one. When you get a guy like that that plays hard every single night and gives you everything every single night, and he plays every, every night. Every single night. <laughs> and he plays the same <laughs> way every Man. single So, like, teams That's that acquire him or teams that... That's crazy. You know what you're getting? Still, like, to this you know what I'm saying? He's a tough dude, tough-minded. And he's going to play 100 miles per hour. He's going to play hard. That's, that's, that's playing not your that cup of tea. Don't watch him. He's energy out of control. control. At this age. <laughs> <laughs> out of control. 20, good. 30 He plays the same plus. way in basketball. He plays the same way. With every every situation he's been in, he's played the same way. When Houston went to the conference finals, he played the same way there's no difference what do you exp that is how are you going to change him that's who he is he's like the energizer bunny man he just doesn't he doesn't get tired he doesn't get tired and you know when he, when he had that passion for the game too as well um, you know that it's it's very doable i know him but i don't know him like that but i'll die for us yeah, for yeah. some reason dog i just you know what i'm saying the way he played the game the way he approached it every night like i just you know what i'm saying he's somebody that i wish i could have been his teammate. I played against Westbrook people, when he was a. People hate that. People hate that. The way that man give it. It's like, you hate him. I understand. You hate that, but it's like people were complaining one about that effort and all this stuff. The plays that nobody sees, the extra stuff, the, the other things that maybe people don't pay attention to. People, we want that on your team, but you're hating on that person that's doing it. Leave your effort, energy. Like, that's what you like on a senior play. in a high but school. Like, pick they they pick it and choose. And when this particular day, Kobe came. And I remember thinking, this, this kid, I mean, he wasn't scared at all. I mean, he was, like, getting after it. You know, the same Russell that you see now. I mean, he was the same way back then. When I was younger and watching him, he was competing like it was the finals. And to me, it was so inspiring because it allowed me to understand, like, this is, this is what you need to be like. Regardless of where you at, what you doing, however you playing, and I took that attitude and ran with it. Hey. Westbrook plays me. He played me like I did with an aggression, much the way I play. I always have to earn everything I, I've gotten, and, and that's kind of the only way I know how to how to play, and the no, only way I know how to, to go out there and um, and compete. I'm I'm Russ, I'm man, Russ is an animal. Same. Man, I love cool. Russ. Okay. I love Russ. Okay, okay. So who you I put, love who, Brody. Who's bringing what Russ is bringing? Nobody. To, Okay, the thing, I think it's going to be off. I didn't want to finish that question. Nobody. He doesn't care. And when I say, like, he doesn't care, I don't mean, like, disrespectfully. He's just going at you. He's going at you. He's, he's in constant <laughs> competition. Bro. He's going at you. He doesn't. He'll come 10,000 times. He'll come once. It don't work. He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. It's not It's not something where it's just, oh, I didn't. It, it didn't work the first time. So, I mean, I'm a little discouraged. Nah, he coming. Do you know how Russ play? Russ is, every single night, he is going hard. Every night. Every single night. I mean, transition, you got a guy like Westbrook that's 100 miles per hour. There's, there's going to be some problems regardless. I think with, with Russ, you almost have to play quick. You have to. If you don't, he can't. he pass it to you and you open, you don't shoot it. He get mad at you, so. <laughs> he <laughs> open. Speed, the you let that, that, that jumper go. The criticism that he, that he goes from the defense to offense with the ball. Um, hey, like, he started hey. Like the should be in one. And his last step is almost at the final <clears throat> line, which makes impossible to, uh, for the defense to block the shot. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to play with this guy this year. I mean, it's very important uh, having him back. We just got a you know, Hall of Fame point guard that's been through it. I think that's going to be big for us coming into the year. It was the reason I was willing to stick my neck out uh, and vouch for him. Like, he delivered. Uh, unbelievable locker room guy. Great energy, great leader. Bringing him BG. in was, he was just very adaptable. Like, right. you know, Real. obviously roles change. His role BG changed for that. when we first got him with myself and Kawhi out there. That's a tell you you need to know. You know starting to figure out uh, his his role, if that makes sense, and the way that he can impact their their their, their team, no matter how that teams are defending him. Ultimate professional. I mean, he's been playing his ass off. He's been hooping. He's talking about almost a triple-double off the bench. That's, that, that's fucking impressive. That's impressive.
it's good to see, you know, everybody kind of recognize that, you know, you know, my boy is still Russ, not not just, you know, some guy who's just, you know, in their mind all washed up. Well, he's an amazing teammate, complete opposite of, like, kind of the picture everybody kind of paints him to be. This how it goes. When I hoop, I have no friends. Your teammate, he rides for you. He doesn't give a damn if you're on another team. And I enjoy playing with him. Like, we knew what we were getting in practice and in game. And it was the same guy, right? He'd go hard in practice. Pushing everybody, he pushed me. Like he, there was you yeah, know, there was a season. There was a season. It was, season. Game. You don't it was, it was, was a little tired, rough in the beginning, right? but it was still every day, that whole right? so whole thing was still fun. Though. That like, thing was fun no, to watch. Let's go, B. Seeing Russell go, going keep crazy. Going. All I kept hearing all years, Bill. come on, B, keep going, B. And I never understood that drive. I'm like, how does he do this? But being in the fire with him, being around him on a day to day, seeing how he prepared, he up at six in the morning getting work done on his body. Going in late, doing the same thing, like, I'm like, okay, that's why. That part of him is phenomenal. He got that routine phenomenal. that he said he and do. Then just the impact that he has on the game, you gotta right? keep that he same is a thing. guy who needs He wants to make a, a mistake versus it. you making a mistake. He'd rather be mad at himself versus getting mad at you, right? And I think that's that's a simple way of putting it. It's always a, a pass first play. It's very rarely, unless he he's feeling it that night, that he's just gonna go coast to coast and just say F everybody. When Westbrook came to the locker room, into the gym, you know, we were playing, right? He said, so we're going up and down. He said, Westbrook watching. Hold on, hold on, give him the ball. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. Hell yeah. He pointed to me. He said, y'all know who the fuck that is? Huh, do y'all know who that is right there? Bradley the Bill right there. All-star, all-NBA player, best player on this team. Y'all went up seven times, he didn't get the ball. Bradley f***ing Bill right there. My point. Right? He's supposed yeah, to get the ball seven move. times. Every time. And he gonna give it to y'all. Y'all should be looking for him the whole time. Bradley Bill sitting there like, he said, man, I loved Westbrook. I'm mad he left. Yeah, he's one of the best teammates I've ever had. As a person, you know, you can't get much better. I got, uh, yeah. December of my rookie year in Minnesota. You know, he reached out like three or four times, asked him if I need anything, offered to send me stuff, whatever I needed. Uh, so as a person, you know, you couldn't get better. And same as a teammate, like he was always, you know, empowering. Um, everybody to really hey, be better and do better and one, one more. Like you said, he gets a bad rap. I, it's I been really the media. He it's, had a special it, relationship with him. It's just been media. They've been had media, some mean people didn't like him. You know, his attitude, where he was sometimes, I mean, dude. But that was the, really the reason. Because in it, who you see in the players wise that this man has played with that came out or said anything about him maybe like any of the other players that would do to other players when he come out and might say something about they hate this person I know and play when they like playing with him. And he's this and that. Like they capping. Capping out they butt, bro. All the players he played with, they yeah. had nothing. Nobody be had nothing wrong to say. They said the same thing. He a great teammate. He wants them to do better, which is facts. He be trying to pass the ball. He wants them to he wants them to do good. When he see him doing good, he's happy. Everybody he's, on the team. On. He would have a conversation with Steve O about New Zealand stuff, like yeah. rugby, like, and then he'll have a conversation with me about fishing. Then he'll have a conversation with Jeremy Grant on like anime. He had a connection with everybody on the team <gasps> where you, you get on the floor, it. it was chemistry. Right. Usually you the star players, oh. they're not but like they got Bro, a special see all the relationship too. with maybe three maybe somebody, four guys even so maybe the un maybe not that known players he still got a chemistry for all of them too even if he's on a different team and they still at the end of the game we've dabbing them hugging them because they he's like the, nice. he, and then the rest is just like oh yeah that's my teammate <laughs> but russ was like that's my boy that's my boy like everybody was his oh, boy everybody. that's good and it was dope it was that's the craziest true. thing i witnessed whatever you want to call it whatever when you want to name it mate intense passionate <laughs> angry and psycho, whatever you got. When you're 100% committed and everyone's on the same page for whatever it is, even Hurry. if it may not be the most optimal scheme, it has a higher That's chance of Steven succeeding cooking, bro. than the one when you're kind of <laughs> on the fence about, right? Because everyone's on the same page and all that sort of stuff, right? Probably the biggest thing that I liked about Russ is that you'll just make a decision where no one really would kind of have the nuts to kind of come say, hey, this is what we're doing. You'll just say, no, 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 we're doing this and that's what we're doing. And so everyone's on the same page, no problems, right? Just watching him coming up, everything yeah. he was doing, averaging the triple double three straight years. Definitely a <clears> tough guy. He, he doesn't care about who's on the floor, who's on the other side of the ball. And that's definitely oh, a mentality I got. I think our first game, Houston came to us. I talked to him after the game. 
Uh, he was just yeah. telling me, you know, Got keep going, Russell. keep being Russell like a chiller that I am, and uh, just keep pushing and leading the team. Um, this definitely was one of those moments you'll be like, wow, you know, watching uh, a guy, you know, grew up watching, and now you're actually playing against him. So. Known yeah. him ever since he was a rookie in the NBA, and seeing him and his career blossom was just unbelievable. I never thought in a million years we'd see somebody average a triple double for a season. You know, and to see him do it four times is like it's insane. I haven't had one in my career, so to to get an average of one for 82 games is unbelievable. But he's one of the best players I've ever played. It's Allen Iverson's favorite player. Incredible. I mean, he's my favorite player. Um, yeah, he um, I have a lot of respect. Adam Rich is a good guy. I just think the talent level is so incredible. Um, I mean, what Russell was doing this year is epic. And to have a playmaker, have a leader, have a uh, a, a scorer, have a just a floor general, uh, a rebounder. Like he just again covers Russell so many energy, holes um, and wears so many hats. <laughs> he everywhere. Right Russell will do anything. He'll run through the wall. He just he's just so valuable. And you know, you just gotta challenge every shot that he puts up. <clears throat> Um, he's a he's a hell of a player, man. Getting downhill at the basket can make the outside shot, and loves to get his teammates involved. Um, when you're when you're playing against somebody like that, you just got to try your best to make everything tough for him. We, we we take Russ for granted. This guy has averaged a triple double. I don't know how many years. Four out of five years. Four out of five years. Okay. When we were younger, and they said Oscar Robinson did, we we was like, it never oh, happened again. It never happened again. I, I mean, I, I'll humbly <laughs> submit I was a guy that got. A decent amount of triple doubles, but if they, you told me I had a chance they, to do it for the, a season, you know, right, like, man, you it's must literally be just the media. Yeah. Your mind. Players, man, they appreciate this. None of us thought that we would and ever see side and another defense. triple double. But the other ones, it's just a game of hate. I, I still of don't figure out why, though. He's played this game because he's done something. I hate that. Man, that brings this type of energy from the game of basketball. You need that. When I think about Russ, like my earliest stories about Russ, my second year, we played the Lakers. Russ had just got there like just came over yeah he right. just came over so it's like you know i didn't start my whole rookie year so i'm like okay let's see what see what this bump is about <laughs> like the first play russ came down and hit fox and mind you fox is dumb strong yeah. too you know what i mean like yeah. fox is dumb strong hit him boom laid it up and fox like you know moved back a little bit and he rocked the baby celebration <laughs> and the crowd it was like who is that rocker i was like <laughs> i was like it's the first play yeah that's <laughs> always been a big role model for me from afar Growing up in Oklahoma, yeah, uh, him spending most of his career there, I think it's, he's been a big role model for me. And growing up through high school and in college, just his mentality and the way he plays, and he just doesn't treat any night easy. He takes every night like it's his last one, and he just plays hard. And I think it's having that mindset and going out there uh, and playing that way is something I try to instill in myself. You know, just the, the force that he plays with every game. You know, the energy that he plays with. And obviously, everyone talks about it. Um, it's just, you know, it's a, that's a talent. You know, and in itself, uh, uh, without his abilities. That's the thing about Russ, though. Russ and Fox, those two always go at it because they're it. both like super athletes. Mm -hmm. They super competitors. Watching those two go at it, I used to be like, yo, this is like a movie. Sometimes I just sit back, like, mm -hmm. y'all got it. Mm -hmm. I'll spot up. Hey, Fox, if you need me, I'm right here, fam. <laughs> so I used to work out with Russ. Fast, um, going to each other. Numerous years, fast. still work out with him whenever I can here and there during the summer. But and Derek Rose. Um, just to see that he's happy, that's the only thing I care about. Um, That's real, him bro. and his family, making sure that they bro, are bro, right. Been... He's happy. He loves playing the game the way that he bro, wants to tough, play. Um, all the other stuff, uh, I leave out. Being the underdog, he just I played the Grizzlies too. And so him and, him and Russell were dapping up, smiling, and everything. And he was yep. overlooked in college. You know, people didn't think that uh, he would mature and become who he is. And so I liken him to Michael Jordan. You know, just because of his competitive fire and nature, and you know, it's him against anybody, him against the world mentality. So when he's out there, you know, people say he plays like a man possessed, but you know, the ball goes up, he's trying to get tip dunks. He sees himself as a player, a playmaker, and somebody who, if there's a rebound, he can out jump pr pretty much 90% of the guys on the court. I mean, this guy has got great speed, he's got great strength, he's got great power, he's got an incredibly competitive will. For a guard, and, and, and Jalen and, and Tracy and uh, Chauncey will tell you, I mean, you're going to get the points and assists. This guy's averaging 11 rebounds a game, so. You just have to sit back and just be in he awe. I mean, I, I know people are always going to say he's stat padding or he's stat hunting, whatever, he still doing for him that, to come bro. in. And still gotta go get I don't want to say single-handedly because he did have 21 That's assists, effort. so somebody has to finish those, those assists. Go get it. But nonetheless, I mean, that is just an incredible. He can go get it so he can just zoom, get that ball down, 
He didn't take the basket and get them points. Like, that's crazy. Call the step pad, but you still gotta go get it. That's effort. He wastes more of his energy so he can go get a bucket. We're trying to get down there. Attack that defense before they get back. I, I just don't think he gets oh, come on, nearly the appreciation that, that he really deserves. Russell Extra season players. is the best that Especially I know the I've, I've ever seen. So much Jordans and, and stuff that nobody wow, talking about players and Kobe's and Iverson's That's so and impact for the Clippers, bro. This is the best season I've ever seen. That's a man. Yes, he's a bad You dude. know, if you don't respect and admire Russell Westbrook, there's something wrong with you. People are going to always criticize when you're successful and you know, you're doing your thing for this long, you know, so probably gonna always find something that they don't like about you. But <clears throat> Russ has been resilient his whole life. He come to work, don't say much, just come hoop. So when he's retired, people are gonna really tell the truth about how they feel about his game. Right now, it's a fun thing to do is to make a joke out of Russ, but he, he you know, the way he's been playing. That's, 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 that's how he is all the time. Sure they ain't gonna really appreciate is. the numbers all the time. much for did. watching. For more. That's, that's, that's almost any body. If they ain't appreciate him at that time, they gonna appreciate the person when they when she retired. And you realize that energy that, that that person brought, like that was that effort energy that he was bringing, bro. That's that gets you hype, get the crowd hype too. That he does, bro. That's a lot. Hey, I got yeah, appreciate it, bro. I'm I'm just appreciating every. I'm just why I watch. I'm gonna try to watch it. Most most likely try to watch every game. Cause I'm trying to enjoy it. You don't got too much time with the players that you're watching now. Everybody getting older. So you enjoy every game. That's why I just be in hype on whatever what my new Russell does. I'm rooting for him, bro. I want to get that championship. So you can just seal it. And if they get he get that ring, bro. And if he showed he get that ring and he showed the emotion, bro, it might make a man get a tear down his eye for me too. Cause you seen too much what he went through. Russell went through too much for the for what he does and energy and effort. Russell deserves that ring, bro. But make sure y'all like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.